What's going on everybody? This is Enrique Silva here once again and today's video is going to be a story video with gaming. I haven't done this once in a long time. Uh, and the story that I'm going to be telling today is a story about... Fam well, let's talk about my impression. When everything, everything started and how it started and how it's sometimes I get bipolar because I sometimes I feel that I, I suffer by bipolar depression but something that my dad doesn't think that that really exists I don't know why he doesn't sorry I don't know why he thinks it doesn't exist but it does a lot of people suffer from that and it's comp and it's and even the doctor says, says that it it doesn't exist. So bipolar depression, that's what I I suffer sometimes. Not I, not always, but sometimes I do suffer suffer from that. So that's a bad thing, you guys. Bipolar depression is not a good thing to suffer because let's say that. It you guys change a lot, a lot of times the state of your how you feel um, a lot often. Sometimes you don't stay stay ha like with that same happiness from all day. You you. you uh, sorry for that. You pass from being happy to be inside in a very instant moment. You can be all day happy and at night you change like this and it's, you start feeling very down, depressed and you don't know, want anything. You start being very, very bad and you don't, you don't, um, how can I say, you don't respect other people when you have depression. So. So that, that thing you can, that's medical, that you can have a, some, some medicine reset it by the doctors, but mine is not that, that severe, so I don't need it. And I don't want to be, become dependent of uh, medic, medication. That's what I'm scared of. I'm scared of being dependent of a certain type of med medication so I don't want that that's the worst thing that can happen so let's start everything happened started when I got my girl first girlfriend you guys can know what happened in that relationship because I I talk about it almost like in two videos I did a video on my first girlfriend or in one I, I don't remember one when when I did it, but yeah, I did. I did a video about that, and I almost cried. Seriously, I almost cried because uh, that girl I love her so much. So let's stop. Everything started when. Wow, that was on the. Hello, mira esto. That was I took it out from the line. That was. That was in the line, man. That was gold. That was almost a gold, man. That very, was a gold. Oh my god, that was a very good one. So let's start. Up. Let me continue. So I was in the. Everything started when I finished my relationship when I broke up with my first girlfriend. My every first, every first girlfriend that was her name is Gira Daniela. I still love her a lot. If Gira, if you're watching this, I still love you, and I hope someday we can be be together again. So, yeah, I was with her, and everything was was okay, and we started fighting a lot, and 
when when we broke up, she was hiding from me in school. She didn't want to see me. Why? I have no idea why. But yeah, we, she was she was very acting very weird when we broke up. And when I told some my friends that I had a relationship with her, she was always denying it. That it wasn't her girlfriend and this and that and give me all that bullshit talk. So that was that and my my depression started like two years two years ago. Uh, or yeah two in twenty fourteen. And my depression started once because we weren't we weren't talking we started not to talk for days weeks and all that and i was very sad because i still loved her well i still love her but i loved her more i love her all through that year all through 2013 as well because i i got i got introduced to her by a friend and in 2013 so I got to know her in 2013 and all 2013 when I when I saw her I got in love and and yeah you guys already know the story so ah, I almost got it so I started two years ago when I was doing a presentation for uh, for the for Spanish class, or was Spanish or ethics? I think it was Spanish class. Yeah, it was Spanish class. Just give me one second. I go. I'm gonna go for my for my glasses. Voy a prender un momento porque necesito la tapa, okay? Okay. Hey. Hey. Look at what I found a long time ago. You don't need more. Look at what I found a long time ago, like two or three weeks ago. An engagement ring. I found it and, I, and I'm st and I'm thinking to who to propose to. I hope I can be soon, and I hope I can be the girl that I'm telling you about so about today. I'm thinking I would love to propose to her, but and in a very very long future in a in a future. So let me get started. Continue with the with the story. So. I was there and I was doing the presentation. Oh my god, I'm losing it. And we were there just I was the teacher called me out. When I got up and I said, Okay, let's do this. I did the presentation, by the way, it went awful, it was horrible, the worst presentation I did in years. That was the worst one. I think I got a 3.0 on that because in Colombia it's from 1.0 to 5.0 and so in some, in some schools go from from 0 up to 50. But yeah, I was 5.0. So, and, and, I thought, and I think I got between a 2.5, that's losing. Or a 3.0, something around there. When I said, oh my, and I, and I wasn't feeling right. I was feeling like down. I was feeling like a little nervous that I'm, I'm gonna fall down. I, I was feeling very weird. Like I was gonna faint. Oh my God, I'm being terrible. What's happening? Two zero. We need me to manage to Cali. Vamos Cali, let's go. So then after that I passed to the 
to the to math class to algebra and the t I told the teacher what happened to me and she told me okay you can go to the to the nurse and I told her no let me stay in class when I feel when I don't when I feel that I cannot go anymore I'll tell you and eventually that happened I was I was okay for the for part of the class and that thing came came back. So I put down my head and I and I lay down until I couldn't I couldn't take it no more and I told and I told the teacher teacher I cannot take it more. And I'm gonna tell what I told I'm gonna say it in Spanish because she it was in Colombia. I told her. I'm gonna say in Spanish once again and Profe, no puedo más, me siento muy mal y necesito ir a la enfermería porque realmente si sigo así me voy a desmayar. So, what I, basically, basically what I said there was, teacher, I cannot take it no more. If I keep on going like this, I'm going to pass out. So, I told her, she told me, yeah, go, go to the hospital. No, go to the yes. nurse. So I can, and I went to the nurse, I lay down on the bed that they have there, and I was there for like two hours, two, three hours, approximately. I, I lost like half an hour, half a school day, and I missed, I missed lunch. That day, since that day, it started my depression. That was in around October something. October 5? That was around middle, middle of October, finishing October. October 30, gone. Was it around mid of October? That was the day I, I started. I know, I know. October 26. So I started around October, mid of October. So I was there for like two, three hours. I don't even know. That was. That was. I was around. Yeah, so I was there for two, three hours and the. And when my friends came around, Jerónimo, ponte a hacer algo en tu tablero. Por favor. The teacher, uh, my friends came by to see if I was okay. Friends from my classroom, friends that I had in 10th grade. A lot of people came past, past by to see how, how was I was doing because I was really, I was really sick. I couldn't do anything. So I, they they were there. They went to see me. The special friend that that was there for me. Well, the person that was there, and I really care about that person being there. It's called Jiret, the one that I first of all I started getting the bipolar depression. From she was there. She told me. Uh, I was. That laying down, there was the teacher that's called Julian. He teaches physics, I think. Physics or chemistry. Por favor, los que tuvieron con Julian, el profesor Julian de, dígame en la descripción de qué, de qué materia es, si es de física o química. Creo que fue de química. Es de química. I was telling that my friends from Colombia. The, that there's a lot of friends from, of mine from Colombia that are that was in my class and that are in eleventh grade that know him, the teacher that was there for me. So he was there. He was, and then Jire came in and I asked the teacher to leave me alone with her because I wanted really wanted to speak with him. First of all, I told her I'm okay. I think I can get up and everything. She told me, no, you're going to stay, lay down and you're going to stay there. I was, 
trying to get away because I didn't want to be there anymore. I was, I was being deprived in that moment. My sugar went down, everything went down. So, so when the sugar went down, she came in, well, she came in and we started talking. I told her what I was, why I was like that and since when it started, because it started in the first class that I had, you know, Spanish class that like I told you guys. And she told me, okay, and I'm going to say this part in Spanish. She told me, I told her, yo me siento muy mal, me gustaría, bueno, o sea, no me sentía tan mal, I wasn't feeling that bad, yeah, so I told her, yo ya me siento un poco mejor, yo creo que ya me puedo ir para el salón, and she said, no, te vas a quedar acá porque tú estás mal y te vas a quedar acá, another thing that she said about Mauricio y Julián, Julián, my two biggest friends that I love them a lot, I care about them a lot. She said, Julian, Mauricio y Julian realmente no son tus amigos, ahí están con sus novias, estando con ellas mientras se estás acá. I told her, eh, sí, pero o sea, no pasa nada, ellos están con sus novias, no pasa nada. Eh, no creo que, que tengan nada, nada malo. Lo que realmente me importa es que, que tú también estás acá. I told her. I'm good. Maybe I'm going to put closed captions so you guys can know what I said in Spanish. So, yeah, I, I told her that. And she told me, eh, Mira, yo no te voy a hablar durante esta semana por el único inconveniente que tuvimos. Wait a minute. Now that I said that in Spanish, now remember, that was a day after I, no, two days after I. I turned 16, yeah, two days after I turned 16. That was definitely two days after I turned 16. Now remember, that was October 23rd, October 23rd that happened. Now I remember. So, yeah, happened the 23rd of October, so... So that... And she told me, eh, no, yo no te voy a hablar por esta semana, por el inconveniente que tuvimos cuando yo te di el dedo. And I said, bueno, está bien, no me hables por esta semana si no quieres, yo puedo estar con Mauricio y Julián y con, vamos a estar jugando nosotros. Para qué cosas si me necesitas, aquí voy a estar. I always told her that whatever she needs, she can count on me because really, I, I, the first thing I told her when I finished, when I broke up with her was, I don't want to lose you as a friend because you are my best friend. You are like a, a sister to me. And I love you a lot. She told me, yeah, I mean, uh, another thing that she told me is that she w was scared that I will forget her and be with someone else. I told her that would never happen. Bullshit that happened. And she told me the same thing to me. And bullshit that happened more than once. She, she was with more than one people. And now she has a new boyfriend. But that doesn't matter to me. It's okay. She can have as many boyfriends as she wants, like I can. She said to a girl that I started liking in my GED class, you know about her, Kelsa? She called her bitch. Why? She doesn't know her. So, I have no idea why she called her bitch. And that made me so angry because she doesn't really know her. So let's get back to the, oh my god, I'm going to go to the story. Yeah, so I was telling her, she told me that, and I told, I told her, so, no, I'm so glad you said, but I'm just going to go to the college, and then after that, 2013 ended, and then 2014 ended, and I came here, and since then, I have, I started having more depression, 
One, one because I left her in Colombia. Two, I left my family in Colombia. And three, I left everyone in Colombia. My school, I was going to be in 10th grade over there. Over there, it's only up to 11th grade. So I was going to be almost senior year over there. I was going to be in senior year. A senior over there. So that was that was like kind of depressing for me, but everything went good, went okay, and now I. Seis por siete, cuarenta. Seis por siete, treinta y cinco. Seis por cinco. Ah, seis por cinco, treinta. Treinta. So everything was okay, and for now we are okay. We we started talking again, but a little bit. Let me see. Muy bien. This is what we talk. I hope you guys can see it. Look, this is her. Uh, this is her voice. She's a, she's a beauty too. So that's her voice. And this was all for today. I hope you guys have a great day and peace out everybody.